Hey guys, how's it going? It's X Hound Dog here, and um, welcome to another commentary. This is going to be over an eights gameplay that I got. Um, I was in an eights lobby. Hang on, let me just turn this down a second, because I can just hear it in my headphones. Um, this is from an eights lobby, and I do pretty well. I don't start off very well, but I pick it up at the end, and I'll let um, my friend Simple Bowser, so it's going to Nico, um, tell you the kill streak that I go on at the end in the, in the lobby afterwards. So. Yeah, what I'm going to be talking about, guys, is ghosts. It's a Call of Duty ghosts. I haven't done a video. Well, I kind of slightly have um, did a video about this. This is before any information came out about ghosts. Anything at all came out about it. So this is going to be a little rundown of what we know and stuff like that. And mainly to do with competitive because that is what this channel is about, really. Competitive gameplays, um, competitive gaming. We will start. So Call of Duty ghost has kind of confirmed that it will be incorporating this esports element and it will be doing something like league play. It could be league play, it couldn't, but Mark Rubin, the executive co... I don't know what he's... executive founder or something like that, it was the main guy at Infinity Ward, said he wasn't allowed to talk about esports directly or about it in length, but he did mention that they were incorporating esports into this Call of Duty game, which is awesome, awesome, really awesome for people like um, us, the viewers watching this, because you guys love competitive gaming, that's why you subscribe to this channel, but yeah, that's that's why it is so awesome, because of um, the esports growing as it has been over this last year, it's grown massively, and for Infinity Ward to keep it going is a is a great, great um, asset for esports because what Infinity War gives is very fast gameplay, enjoyable gameplay to watch. There's everything is like you run and gun, and that is kind of their ethos. They've added in new dynamic um, movements around the map where you can actually vault over, vault over uh, walls, low walls, and stuff like that. So you don't lose any speed when running because you know it's really annoying when you're running up to something and you want to climb over it. You're there, you climb. And then you start running again instead of just a quick movement off like that. And that's going to be a really cool feature to add into the game. They've also added sliding as well. So to keep up the dynamic element, they're going to be able to slide. Like in um, Tryout, they have the prone dive. On this, they're going to have a slide. So you, you slide along and you can still shoot, I believe, when you slide. I think you slide into crouch or prone. Not 100% sure on that, but from the videos I've seen, it looks awesome. Whatever it does, you'll be able to keep up the the pace in all your in all your movements. And they've also got a lean feature, so when you're behind a wall you can you're here and then you can lean out like this and come back in and it's a really really cool feature um to have in a game and watch this three piece. Quite nice actually quite nice. Didn't know where the final guy was in here but never mind. Anyway so that that um that three piece was awesome <laughs> just have to say. So back onto Infinity War so so all these different features that they're bringing to the game will add a new dynamic in, to the way the esports will work and how competitive will work. And that's just one good thing about esports is that you know, it brings together a whole different group of communities and the, the exposure the Call of Duty games will get is massive and esports is so big right now that not taking it any further would be a mistake for Infinity War because a lot of people would just jump back on Black Ops and not do anything about it. So that is just an awesome awesome thing to hear that Infinity War will incorporate it. Another cool thing that will um, change the dynamic of the competitive games and all the different aspects of a game is that they've got dynamic map elements. There is dynamic map elements in Black Ops 2, you know, in Cargo you've got the crates and move, but in, but in this, but in Infinity Wards, they are going to be player controlled stuff. So the destruction will be sometimes player orientated, so if a player shoots something and explodes, then a bit of a map crumbles, or if they unlock a trap, this is what they said, they can get like traps, doors, and stuff like that, which you can activate so that you have a team walk into and stuff, which is just going to be so cool. Um, that would be an awesome feature into competitive if they're if that if you're actually allowed that. If you set up a trap door and someone walks down into it, you're going to have to be able to 
your map awareness must be at a pinpoint if you want to miss all these traps and stuff. So that adds another element to your game. So that's a really, really cool feature. Um, but there are other oriented, like destructive orientated stuff um, which is actually put into the game. So halfway through the game, a waterfall comes down, blocks off a bit of the path, that kind of stuff. And that has happened before in other games. It's not revolutionary because in Gears of War 3 that actually happens in the game. Like a, there's one where it's called, I think it's called, uh, what's the what's the map called? I can't remember what the map called. Map, map is called, but there's a dust storm which comes in like halfway through the game and it impairs your vision. You can hardly see in front of you, so you have to be close quarter range then. It changes the dynamic of the game. There's another one which is called uh, Overpass, where, where the actual map collapses and a waterfall comes down through in the middle. It's not like a huge waterfall, you can still walk through it, but it just adds another cool element to the game. And that's what Infinity Ward have done in this new um, in this new map. Uh, crap, what's it called? Skyline? I think it's something like that. Well, it's in a skyscraper, and as the game progresses, the map goes, tch, 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 and it just drops. And every time it drops, your sight lines and stuff all change. So it's it's very very different, which is a awesome. So in comp in competitive way, different different elements join the game. So for however long it goes, the map changes. That will make that will make your map awareness have to be so accurate because. If the map changes, you need to know when it changes, how it's going to change, where the positions are, how you're going to move around the map now, how quickly can you move around the map. It's just going to be so much to take in and to learn, and that will really, really single out the best players who have the greatest map awareness. And that's a really cool aspect in the com will be a really cool aspect in the competitive gaming because just being able to add in different elements into it will just make it more interesting to watch. Be hopefully quicker pace because a lot of people will have to think quicker, they have to react quicker and just be able to do stuff a lot quicker because of how the map changes. So if Infinity Ward can nail this esports side and have incorporate this league play kind of system into the game, then that would be a really, really good feature and just make the game so much better because Model Fair 3, I got annoyed with it very quickly um got bored of it as well that's the reason why we started doing gbs because it was the old game was like boring and we wanted a bit of a challenge and stuff and with league play they kind of added that so you don't have to do that if you don't want to you can just play league play which is uh which is a really cool kind of feature so being it the if infinity ward nail all these aspects that we've thought about and if they work seamlessly into the 60 frames per second um, gameplay that they always have and the fluidity of their games if it works that well then i'm pretty sure that infinity ward may have just revolutionized their esports and that is about it guys this gameplay is um this gameplay is wrapping up um bit of a <laughs> bit of a strong note to end on then that I think that Infinity Ward, if they nail this esports, will revolutionise Call of Duty esports. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. I'm going to let Bowser um, speak to you now about my score streaks. And I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope that you've um, taken something away from this commentary, like thinking about the esports and stuff. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to be good about the new Call of Duty Ghosts, and I'll be sure to read them and answer your questions. So, cheers again, thanks for watching, guys. And Bowser... Bowser, are you there? Ba ba Bowser? Can you hear me, Bowser? Bowser, can you hear me? Sure. Uh, Henry, right, Bowser, go you, ahead. You went on a 21 kill streak in the end of that game. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Connection! You should use Dazzle's that, in like a gameplay or something. Oh, I'm in it. Okay. <sighs> oh my God.